What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 32 of Little Root Lessons. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Carter Noble, joined by our fantastic co-host, Carl Wilkin. What's going on, man? We've got some theory crafting to do this week. Uh, not a whole lot help came out from uh, Series 7, like, news-wise. We haven't had a full announcement again, as normal. But uh, we're going to... Uh, so we got, we got two weeks before... Crown Thunder actually comes out. Yeah, so, we, we had some fun. <laughs> so we have been uh, basically just all day today, just kind of slapping some movesets together, seeing what sticks, what looks good. What's with, cool, uh, what's yeah, not. With all the new returning bonds. So, uh, like, unfortunately, we can't do the new birds or any of that because... We don't have any kind of stats or anything like that yet. Yeah, we, we literally know nothing other than names and types. And that's it. And, and like they're they're one special move, but we don't even have names for them. Yeah, we do. We're we do. Like that. Yeah, I think they're all on the website, but I'm not gonna go dig it out. I don't care enough to actually care. I know Articuno's psychic type move has a chance to freeze. Yeah, that's like the cool one. Um, I don't remember what Zapdos's does. Para. I'm not. Sure. I don't think that's actually what it does. I don't either. Um, and Moltres again got shafted. I think, <laughs> which is no surprise. But Articuno might be the most playable of the three this time. Of those, yeah, yeah. Of those three. Like, um, I'm really excited for Zapdos, but I'm also really excited for uh, for Articuno, mainly because of competitive, um, and yeah. it's. Awesome. The exactly. Galarian birds have much better abilities than the uh, Kintonian birds. Man, I really, really wish we had access to Lightning Rod, Zapdos. That'd you be know, so good. It was it was one of two mons, I think. Uh, like, well, two really good abilities that were never released, hidden ability wise. Um, there was Lightning Rod, Zapdos, and the other one that comes to mind is uh, Shadow Tag, Chandelure. Mm. It's like, man, those would have been that. Awesome. Great. <laughs> and instead we get static. And I don't even know what Chandelure's is. Uh, flash fire. Hidden ability? Uh, infiltrator. Yeah, there you go. That seems strictly that, worse. The, the, one that, the one that actually plays is flash fire. Yeah. So let's just jump into team of the week. Sure. Cool. So this was sent to us by Baradad, right? Yep. Um, you want to pull that up for me? Ooh. So I can actually talk through this. So, uh, we have Citrus Berry, Intimidate Luxray, uh, Jelly, Psychic Fang, Snarl, Thunder Wave, Baby Doll Eyes. Um, Seems like usual Luxray things, yeah. for the most part. Pretty, pretty standard. Choice Man, Scizor, Technician Boost, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Superpower, Dual Wing Beat. Again, pretty, pretty standard Scizor in my... In my opinion. Um, let's see. We have Weakness Policy, Gudra. I'm a big fan of Gudra. Yeah, special, special Gudra. So, Weakness Policy is usually special just because you just have so much extra. So much extra special attack. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Sludge Bomb. Is it normal not to have Protect on it in her policy? Uh, not usually, but it's never, like, usually a big deal. You are usually have, you can usually invest it up in bulk, but you're not going to go down to one hit usually. Anyway. Oh, especially with Dynamaxing, so, like, it doesn't really matter. We like, I feel like this is your Dynamax bulk. target almost every game. And then we have Talonflame, Safety Goggles Talonflame. I, I'm doing this on my rain team. This yeah, it's is, great. Oh, this it's is so it's actually great. Uh, the difference is, I'm Special Talonflame, he's Physical Talonflame. And, man, I, I've preached about this for a couple different weeks now on the, on the podcast, I don't like, um, I don't like physical town flame that are running Brave Bird. This one luckily is not. It's running dual wing beat. Mm -hmm. The downside is, is your fire move is still flare blitz, which <laughs> still breaks your gale wings. Yep. Yep. That still breaks your gale wings and you don't, you st it's still always a feel bad moment when you don't, you can't just do priority dual wing beat or tailwind anymore. So luckily, uh, we do, we do have a way of triggering our policy on Gudra with quick attack Pixelate, Sylveon here. This, this is something I've played a ton of. Yep. It's it's great. Um, I've done it with a couple different mons. I think in Season 1 of Draft League, 
might have been the inaugural one before we we actually got yeah before we opened up to everybody. Uh, but I had Sylveon Pancoro, and it was that was sweet. That one, that one, giant red panda just clapping people. It was great. Just blowing them up. Uh, yeah, hyper voice, quick attack, mystical fire, protect. Um, it, it, it's great. I, it, this this set is pretty pretty good. You're gonna. You're gonna do out. Uh, you're gonna put out a lot of damage between hyper voice and mystical fire mm-hmm. because you are max special attack. Yeah. And pixie plate means your hyper voice is gonna hit for even more. Um, notably, I usually ran throat spray, but I like I like hyper voice here. Um, I've seen a bunch of calm mind Sylveon here lately, and I think that's adorable. But you still just die through a ham sandwich. Yeah. So. As much as I would like to do it and just be able to boost up in front of people, you just aren't bulky enough to actually do so. Yeah. And then rounding out the team, we have a Jack Pack Rotom Mo. I don't know what's going on with this thing. This is a very it's it's a very support like style Rotom. It's like you have Leaf Storm as your only actual damaging attack, and then we have Alice, which will and Light Screen just to like support the team. Excuse me, just casually looking up what a Jack Pack does. Uh, believe eject pack is uh stat lowers. If it goes out. It'd be great if I could spell. Yeah. I put eject pack. Like yeah, if the opponent, if the holder stat stages are lowered, it switches to chosen ally. So leaf storm switches you out. Yep, you get to use one leaf storm and he swaps you out. And... Okay, I don't hate it. Uh, this is something we played in the Rumble last weekend, which you didn't even think about. You didn't think about pulling up the stuff from that. No. Which, I can pull that up. To be fair, I also forgot about it until right now. So, <laughs> well prepared as usual. Yeah, we can pull it up here in a little bit. Um, um, team is has a lot of just like... I want to say it's, like, a lot of weird, like, just, like, a gimmicky thing. It's just, like, not everyone's going to know what all these mods do all the time. But, like, if you see Gudra and Sylveon, you can almost expect a weakness policy. Yep. And then, like, like, from there, like, Talonflame is pretty normal. uh, The safety goggles is what's going to get people. I have had a lot of players, when I'm playing, testing the rain team, that's just like, oh, I want to rage power in front of this talent play like, well, i don't care don't care blow you up with hurricane or overheat or whatever i'm using at the time go away yeah and then you know the the roton mo is a really interesting one that i don't like you, you don't see of like all the roton forms mo is probably the probably the third most played yeah probably um, behind wash and then oven yeah because frost isn't as popular and fan is fan, actually unplayable. Fan doesn't do anything. <laughs> Sir, it is double immune. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you can't get him with the mold breaker. Got him. Um, but yeah, this team's cool. Uh, like I said, it was played in the Rumble uh, this past Ended weekend. up winning the Rumble with yeah, it. Yeah, ended up winning the Rumble with it, too. Uh, granted, the Rumble was only seven players or eight players. I don't think they made it to the ten. Yeah, only seven, but still decent... Decent turnout for it. Obviously, would love to see this become, you know, 50 people a weekend or whatever, but... Oh, goodness. I don't even know if we could handle 50 people in a weekend. It'd be all right. We, we, we'd make do. Uh, but yeah, ended up winning the Rumble. Uh, this is a very nice graphic that our new mod, uh, Evan, did up for us. Dude, Evan has put together so many, like... Uh, graphics. Just graphics. Just for, everything. For, like, everything in the last week. He's like... Hey, here's, here's stuff this. for monotype. Here's stuff from the Rumble. Here's this. Here's that. Yeah. Uh, he's been doing great. Uh, Swede's been... All, all of the mods have been doing their fair share of just, like, outreach and getting it with the community. It's been great. Um, looking, Agreed. I looking love through, that. Uh, what I see here, not a lot of common mods this time. Uh, I think Ferrothorn's the most common mod at three copies. Yep. I think the next uh, we have, it looks like, two Terrakion... Two Escavalier. Two Talonflame. Two Sylveon. Two Sylveon is kind of weird. I'm not That's weird, lie. yeah. So seeing double seeing Sylveon here twice is unusual. Well, what's even better is uh, Evan ended up playing Sylveon Terrakion, mm-hmm. which I'm assuming this is weakness policy Terrakion. Could be. Um, um, 
But what's great about it is there's no beat up on this team. So like, just you can't you can't them. bait them. Yeah, you just you just get them with you just quick attack them and just hope they can stop it. Notably, um, there's one Amoongus. Yeah, there's only one Amoongus. <laughs> Amoongus has dropped in priority a lot. Um, also, there's this uh, random uh, Dotler on Jiggly's team <laughs> down here in seventh. I am. I think they were just playing their mono. This playing mono bug. Yeah, he he uh, ended up getting mono bug for which division is he in? Uh, I believe he is in. Is he in Sword or Shield? I believe he's in a uh, Shield. Is he in mine? I think so. Luckily, I have this fantastic graphic I can look at real quick. <laughs> He's not in Swords, so I'm assuming that means he's in he Shield. He has to be in Shield, then. Oh, yeah, because we had, like, 11 of our picks done before you all even had one done. Yeah, that's the power <laughs> of time zones, man. <laughs> so Jiggly's like, yeah, I'm just going to put up the fate. He was, like, six or whatever. He picked it, like, six or whatever, and uh, he's just like, all right, I'm going to let fate decide what I'm playing. And I, I'm pretty sure it was Zeno's you know, just like, I hope you get bug. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, he he managed to get bug. Yeah, so he's uh, gonna be messing around with some bugs this season. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited to start playing this week. Uh, looking to the rest of these teams here, uh, Atomic Penguin is playing like a kind of just like here's Clefairy Dracozol plus just Firewater Grass Core of. Ferrothorn, Charizard, Melodic, and then Hatterene, I'm guessing it's just like, here's this trick room, counter trick room thing. And all actuality, this kind of looks like a trick room team. Uh, on, I, on on face value. Like, Drake Assault's a little fast. Like, Drake Assault's a little fast, Charizard's a lot of fast. Um, but, like, sure Melodic isn't yeah. that fast. Um, um, but th this seems fine. Yeah. Like, I, I don't hate what's going on here. Uh, like I said, Evan's team has Sylveon, Terrakion, also has Lapras, Dusclops, Ferrothorn, and Dracovish. Uh, I'm a big proponent of Dracovish in Series 16. So Mr. Just, Vish is great. He just blows everybody up. Um, Karibo also doing Terrakion things, but with beat up on their Alolan Persian, also has uh, Ninetales and Talion Blizzard Spam. Love it. And uh, also sets up Veil, so your Pokemon don't go down as fast. Uh, it's carrying Ferrothorn as the grass type, and Talonflame is just a little bit more speed control and taunt, and just a little bit of fire coverage. What's What's really great about this, um, like you have your speed control with Talonflame, and like Aurora Veil is going to make it where all these Ferrothorns of Ninetales and Talion and Talonflame actually can live. Yeah, they actually just like survive hits a little bit better, and it's great. Like, I, I genuinely would be surprised if there's a... Eh, that, okay, probably not. I Like, I was going to say I'd be surprised if there was a Focus Sash on this team, but you probably still have it on either Inteleon or... Uh, you probably actually have it on Ninetales. I was going to say, I expect it on Ninetales. I expect, like, maybe, like, a Goggles Talonflame to, like, get around a trick... Like, to get around a, a follow-up, mm -hmm. like, a Rage Powder trick, uh, trick Room setup, and then, like, Inteleon might have Life Orb still. Life Orb or... The um, scope lens. Be yeah. crit. Be crit. Crit and tell you. Um, Bauer uncle here, uh, Bauer dad's brother, uh, has... Brother or brother-in-law? Either way, it's brother. Yeah, it's... it's all brother. Um, has G-Weezing. Uh, looks like some sort of Urshifu. I'm assuming this is probably water Urshifu. Notably, there are two Urshifus, but I'm assuming they're... Separate because they're not in the same column here. Yeah, I'm assuming they're different because one's listed in the water. So if one's listed in the water, one's listed in the dark dragon fighting category, I'm assuming it's a dark Urshifu then. Um, Corviknight, Frostlass, uh, Tauros, and Amoongus. What are we doing here with Frostlass? Anger Point Tauros. Frost Breath always crits. I did not know that. Yep. Um, that's adorable. That's, that's the combo. And you also have Urshifu, which also does it. Mm -hmm. So Urshifu or Frostlass, that's that's adorable. You can crit your Anger Point Tauros, and then Tauros just runs everybody over. I get to do this in Mono Dark with Urshifu Crocodile. Just run people over. There you go. Um, next up here, we have CJL78's team. Uh, 
I'm not sure what's going on with this uh, Excel War, but we're playing it. Uh, maybe just like we just policy Hydreigon. Um, That's the only thing I can think of. Like you just like click U turn, hit the Hydreigon. Like what are we switching into then? Uh, Serena. Yeah, I guess maybe. I don't know. Um, but there's Hydreigon, Escavalier, Jolteon, uh, what we're assuming is a Water Urshifu, and then Serena rounding out the end here. Um, I'm assuming this Hydreigon is, like, filling in for the Fire Core, because it gets Heat Wave or Flamethrower. Heat Wave, Flamethrower, or Fire Blast? I think it's Fire Blast, too. So it's, I'm assuming it's the, like, here's the Fire Mon. I always run, like, actually Fire Mon. I always run Heat Wave, and I typically run, like, Specs. Yeah. And just... Spam. Just spam. <laughs> um, and then, like we said, in seventh place, Jiggly Dreams with his motto bug team that he's probably testing for draft league. I like the fact that he has Dottler and uh, and Vicavolt. Uh, I thought Dottler evolved into. Uh, yeah, Dottler evolved. I, I'm more just like here's all evolved, the right? slow, okay, all okay. the slow mons, but no actual. Tr I don't know if that does Dottler get trick room. Yes, I, I, I believe I'm more just like this? here's all the slow bugs, and then here's Butterfree. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, Rage Powder Trick Room. I thought there what was do you mean slow mod? There's a Volcarona. Yeah, Volcarona is just like another Rage Powder, so you can Trick Room. True. But it's just like here's here's a Scavalier, here's Vicavolt, here's Dotler. These are all kind of slow, bulky bugs. I am very very interested. See if the Dotler gets Trick Room. That's like I believe it does. If it does, it's cool because it gets to hold Evil Light. Come on, work with me here. It. Does in fact get trick room. Okay, so that's what this dollar is doing. This dollar is a uh, Eevee Light trick room. I'm pretty sure like every psychic type gets access to trick room. You'd, you'd be surprised. It should. It should be that way. But then we also have mons like Stack Attacka that get access to trick room. Look, man. Don't yell. Ult at me. Ultra Beasts are weird. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anywho, that was the rumble. Uh, like I said, none of us got to play because we were both working. Um, my job is getting insane right now. I'm I'm not gonna have any free time anymore. I don't know about you. <laughs> Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was gonna see how many what percentage of psychic types get trick room. Uh, but yeah, I I don't know, man. It should my, be most of them. My tri my uh work schedule is getting ready to switch, which I've been saying for like two months now. Yeah, I've been saying like, that for a while. But evidently, we've officially hired this new guy, but he has to put his two weeks in, and then he needs a week off, and then he can actually train, which is going to be at least two weeks, and then he can start his own. Ra I don't I don't know, man. So a while. It's going to be probably a month from what I've heard. Like, hey, by the way, this is happening, but I don't know when. Yeah. Like, that's what you said two months ago. Cool. So, um, <laughs> let's get to the meat and potatoes of today's episode, shall we? Sure. Instead of us sitting here ranting about work and how it's miserable and how it takes away from me getting to play more Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So, um, similar to what we kind of did in Series 5, um, just kind of going over new mons, what they're... What like, they can do. What historically they've done, and, like, adding in new tools of what they actually get. So, um... Where do you want to start? We got, we got, I got four pages of Pokemon here. You don't even have mine pulled up. Yeah, I know. You didn't send me, you didn't send me actual Pokepastes. It was because I, I did act... Oh, no, I sent you No, you sent me screenshots. I can't, I can't do anything with screenshots. You can open them. Then they'll be tiny on my screen. Yeah, sure. That would be a great idea. Sure. So, um, let's just start somewhere. I don't care, man. Um, let's start with Dragonite. Dragonite's fun. Okay, so, historically, what has Dragonite done? Anything? Uh, nothing. Cool. So... Do you, you know why? It sucks. Uh, inner focus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Ender Focus got an up, it's got a little bit of an update, so now it actually means something against Intimidate, and uh, I'm excited for that. Not not only that, but like Marvel Scale is also good. Marvel Scale, um, Multi Scale, Multi Scale. Yeah, it, it it and Lugia are the only ones that get it. I think. Is yes. Right? Um. So I've heard people talking about like 
you give them a multi scale plus like ice shard weakness policy and just like but then you break your own multi scale. Yeah. Like, that that's the point of running multi scale. Exactly. So not a not a fan of that, but what what we see here is just inner focus to prevent intimidate from working on us. Um Life Orb, Dynamax target of Dragon Claw Fly, Superpower Protect. So, Max Warm Wind to lower their attack, Max Airstream, and Max Knuckle. Just, th this seems fine. Dragonite has a ton of coverage when you actually look at it. I believe he gets access to all the elemental punches, or I know he has historically. Mm -hmm. um, also, like, you can run special because his special pool is also absurd. Gets access to stuff like Surf and, um, I believe, Flamethrower. I, I, maybe Thunder Wave. I might be getting too old here and having, like, Gen 1 flashbacks. but It gets a lot. Granted, like, everything in Gen 1 got Thunder Wave, so, like... <laughs> uh, Dragapult, uh, Dragonite gets a lot and doesn't have to completely worry about Dragapult because Dragonite has just a little bit more bulk than what Dragapult does. Um... Notably, if Dragapult becomes good, you can just run multi-scale. Yeah, you just like, run multi-scale instead yeah, of take, focus. take your hit and beat them up. So, But there's a big reason why we're just like, inner focus is good, because we're expecting Landorus to be very, very popular. Do we do we get Ice Punch still? Because if so, I think we might want Ice Punch just to deal with Landorus. Um, like, that, that sure is something you need to be aware of. Like, is like Landorus can... I don't know what Landorus does to hit us super effectively back. Rock Slide. Like, that's, that's about it, really. Which, luckily, inner focus means we can't get flinched by it. Exactly. <laughs> we double win against Landers. But uh, if we get Ice Punch, you probably would rather run Ice Punch over the Superpower slot. Uh, this is just more of just, like, Superpower turns into Max Knuckle, which gives you plus attack. Um, just boosts your attack even more. Um, Dragon Claw to lower their attack and fly to just boost your speed. This is just more of a Dynamax kind of target for Dragonite. You could run Assault Vest with multi-scale and just like be like the super bulky Dragonite. I think if you're multi-scale, you're probably pairing this with like Comfe. Yeah. So you get Floral Healing. Just heal up over you and can, over. You can then run um, Weakness Policy because you get Floral Healing to heal yourself before you can take another hit. Yeah. And you get Roost. Yep. So between Floral Healing and Roost, you just live forever. Oh, yeah. So, might be something to do there. Yeah, that um, would be cute. Um, I sure. think it's adorable, for sure. Yeah. It's like, weakness policy, fly, so then you're faster than everything, so you can actually roost to get your multi-scale before you take another hit. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's cute. I have no idea how viable it is. Yeah. Um, next two up here are kind of just like the same mod. Mirror images of each other. One's just bulkier than the other. Uh, Nido King and Nido Queen, both with sheer force, um, have pretty much the same move pool. Poison Jab, high, uh, high Horsepower, Thunder Punch, and Throat Chop. Uh, with Assault Vest, both want to be max HP and just a little bit bulkier. Mainly just so they can just, like, tank a hit. Uh, going through and finding out that there's, like, actually zero moves they learned besides Poison Jab and Thunder Punch that benefit from sheer force is kind of disappointing. Let me... I want to get on Picolytics real quick. I know they have the old st like old sets for these mons available. Uh, let me look up VGC 2019 Nido Queen. Um, thinking about Dynamaxing here, uh, Thunder Punch is just more just like water coverage, but also helps you keep you from falling asleep. High Horsepower Stab and also boost your special defense. Throat Chop is to hit the Psychic types. That could be a problem to you. It's because we're not special. Hey, we're not physical. We're special. Well, yeah. You also get, you can also replace special. Because um, if we're special, we have Earth Power. Yeah. Uh, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Ice Beam. That works. This looks way more appealing. That looks way more appealing. Um, it just sucks that uh, both their special attacks are garbage. Oh, are they? Uh, 72 base for Nido Queen. And, and 75 for Nido Queen. Which, I mean, not 75 compared to 92 is significantly worse. It is a lot. That's a lot of points. But at the same time, when your move pool dictates that you have the ability to run Sheer Force if you're special. Like, like does it, it equal it make, does, it, do they equal out the question? Basically, um, like, 72, then you're getting a 1 times 3 boost on all of your attacks, comes to 94. It will round out. Uh, 93. So... That's 
pretty dang close. You're a little higher compared to having only Poison Jab. Yeah. Like, sure, you can have the, the coverage, but, like, these are also Life Orb sets. Um, yeah. So instead of, like, Throat Chop, then you run Protect. Yeah. So it's it's a give and take. I could see it being better. Um, it depends on what you need to. Yeah, exactly. Like... These are both, like, Assault Vest physical bulky sets, whereas that's probably more of a I-need-to-kill-you-now kind of set. Actually, it has EV spreads. Um, yeah! (laughs) Timid 252 special attack. Yeah, you you have to fully invest into it, yeah. You have to fully invest. You are trying to just blow them up as fast as possible and hope that your bulk is enough. Or in a Dynamax format, it's never enough. Especially when we're going off a of 76 speed. Yeah, it's ne- it's never going to be enough, so I think the physical bulky sets are probably going to be better, just because you can Dynamax them, and you may not get your Sheer Forest bonus for Poison Jab, but you're probably not clicking Max Ooze anyway. Most of the time, you're probably just clicking High Horsepower or Throat Chop or Thunder Punch. I found the 2019 North American International Championships. Oh, boy. And I'm pretty sure there's a Nido Queen on here. Um... Yeah, Night Queen and Night King, they'll do something. Uh, they'll be in the format for sure. Uh, outside of that, um, like you said, they can be physical or special. It doesn't really matter. Um, looking into their what they get for removal, new stuff, if I remember correctly. Where are you? Where are you? It's, notably, we're getting high horsepower, and we're also getting body press, so we can run like a fighting type move. I don't hate that. If we want coverage for, like, something. Um, but the fact that we get high horsepower in the physical side is why it's just, like, really, really good. Agreed. Like, I, that I genuinely like that. I forgot to put Crobat on our list. Oh, well. Um, moving on down here, uh, a Pokemon I feel like is not going to do anything, but I guess everybody else does. Garchomp, I don't see what they're gonna, what this thing's going to do. I don't know. Maybe they're yeah. just like, Ice isn't very popular right now to begin with, so it's just like Garchomp's big Ice weakness isn't going to be taken advantage of. Uh, both of its abilities are garbage. <laughs> you can do Rough Skin or you can do Sand Veil. Uh, Garchomp, it's like, here's Sand Veil, throw it on a Saint, like throw it next to T-Tar, do cool things. Sand Veil doesn't look awful. Like, being able to potentially ignore a hit like like making them miss is huge oh yeah the problem is this is a dynamax format you gotta hope they like the hope they don't dynamax in front of you and then blow you up because if they do your sand veil doesn't mean anything it also doesn't help that everything is triple axle (laughs) we were looking at it earlier there's just so many random pokemon why does articuno get it man i don't know can so the same me. reason Serena gets it. The same reason Dugong gets it. And Crowgadol and fucking everything else. There are so many mods. I'm just like, what? Oh, we, were, we were looking at Blacephalon earlier. Blacephalon gets expanding force. It makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. Yeah, if you don't think about it, it's great. <laughs> I mean, it, at least like Solar Beam makes sense. Like Solar Beam I think it cool. gets Meteor Beam too. Um, it gets sure some other weird move. Scorching Sands. Okay, that kind of also makes sense. Yeah, a lot of the fire types got Scorching Sands. Which I'm not going to complain about. Which, notably, is on our next one. Yeah, so Guard Chomp I don't think is going to be I don't good. think it's going to be cool, but it, there's a set if you want to play with it. A very fast Life Orb set. Uh, you could do any ability, honestly. Uh, I would probably do Sand Veil the most, because it's going to be probably the most. You could also just do Rough Skin and hope that they hit you. <laughs> Yeah. I, uh, I, I notably, it does get Iron Head and it does get high horsepower, so it gets both the special defense and the defense boosting. Big uh, historically, it's also got Rock Slide, which then turns into Rock Fall, which then means but you, can you can set up your own sand. Yeah. So you're not reliant on Tyranitar. Yeah. But I don't know about that one. Um, it's just cool. It's just like, like here's Scar Chomp, here's some stuff. Like, Maybe I think works. you want. Life Orb. You could be Assault Vest, but like your special defense, if I remember correctly, is not great. Um, it's not very good. So having Assault Vest devoted to a Pokemon that can't take a hit with it doesn't really make sense. Yeah. But 
that's that's enough guard chop for me. Yeah, that's enough guard chop. Let's move on to this awesome Heatran set that I came up with. <laughs> I love Heatran. <laughs> um, Heatran historically has been very great. We kind of talked about this last week, talking about Chalk with Cresselia, Heatran, Amoongus, Landorus, Kanga. Um, all those mobs are legal again. Yeah. Like, if you really wanted to play Chalk again, you could. Uh, granted, that was, I believe, 20... 20- 15 was when that, like, was around. So how well does that, like, how well does that transfer into a Dynamax format? The, like, the big thing is, like, it transferred into Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, but, like, adapted. So Kanga obviously kind of fell off the face of the Earth because Parental Bond became less good. Yeah. Um, so as a result, you kind of saw, like, Feeny or Lele kind of slotted in. You could see... Like, if you went Lele, you could add, like, Metagross as well. And, like, have that combination of absurd psychic types. Um, historically, you've seen, like, Kartana as well, which, again, is returning. Like, everything everything I've said so far is, like, viable wands again. Yeah. So, now you have to add in Gen 8 Pokemon as well. And, like, I really don't know if anything slots into that core. Like, all of those mons are good on their own. Yeah. Um, the one that might be is, like, Dust Claps over Cresselia. And I genuinely think that could be a thing that yeah, people that, that's probably what Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's probably just, like, drop Cresselia, bring up Dust Claps. Because I, I've been with you. I, like, I think Dust Claps is just better than Cresselia. Yeah. It, like, having access to Will-O-Wisp is huge. You have Pain Split for recovery. You're immune. Like, you have an immunity. You have huge amounts of bulk things that will Evia Light. Like, granted, Cresselia gives, like, leftovers, which is also huge, but I don't know. It, it's going to be also, interesting. with how much, like, fake-out we've seen in, before then, this is, yeah. like, I, I don't know how popular fake-out was back then, like, if everything had fake-out. Fake-out has been good as, as long like, as it's I, been around. I, it's just, like, I, yeah. we have two mods on most cores because Rillaboom and Cinderella both get it, so there's at least always going to be a fake-out ability on the field at some point. So it's just like, you have to make sure that you're just like not going to get fake out locked over and over and over. So, uh, back to Heatran. Heatran. Um, you have an immunity because of Flash Fire. Yep. Historically, one of the best items on Heatran is like Ground Berry, which I can't remember what it actually is. Uh, goodness. Making me think. I, I have no idea. You, you dig that one up. Or Air Balloon. Like being able to switch in on an Earthquake or something like that. But... Um, because of Dynamax, our HP can be pretty, excuse me, pretty great. So why not slap a weakness policy on this? Shuka. I knew it was an S, and I couldn't remember what it was. Shuka Berry. Okay. I don't hate that. So, you can, you can switch in on fire type attacks, and with, like, Charizard being as popular as it's been in the past, uh, you can just switch into a G-Max Wildfire, make them waste a turn of their Dynamax. Yeah. That seems huge. And then turn around, like, you can pair this next to Dragapult, Surf plus Weakness Policy, then, bang. Uh, this also works if, like, you wanted to trick or bulldoze things with Dusclops. Um, you're not the fast. Hatred is not the fastest Pokemon. I actually don't know its base speed. Uh, it's not super duper fast. It's definitely slower than most. Maybe. Like, after after uh, IV is 97, so you can get down to... Down to about 70-something if you wanted to. About 75-ish. That's still pretty fast. 73. Which, you're also minus one for Bulldoze. But so are they. Yeah, if they're, if they're not already flying off the ground or levitating i.e. Salamence yeah or Metagross or anything else yeah I don't I don't hate it but mm. the option is there you are much slower than you are with all your other stats like that's the one that's the lowest stat on Heatran is speed at 77 man that's absurd that's the lowest stat <laughs> that's absurd <laughs> and it, it's by a country mile too 
Uh, base HP is 91, base attacks 90, base defenses uh, are both 106, base special attacks 130. Like, you, you, you hit like a truck if you get your weakness policy to go off. Uh, notably, you could probably just, like, pair it with a mock Punch or Pecking Wave or whatever you want to do. Yeah, like, put it next to the hip on top and just vacuum wave yourself. Blow them up. Um, Again, I don't hate that, so... You could also just go big in front of something and hope they hit you, and if it happens to be a super, a super effective hit, and you just turn around and blow them up. Because you're not outspeeding anything at 77. <laughs> so I'm sitting here watching this 2019 championship, right? Uh -huh. and I'm just like, man, I can't wait for one of them to Dynamax. It's like, oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> and then, like, you look at the field, and there's a Mega Rayquaza and a, and a uh, primal, <laughs> primal Kyogre. I'm just like... Man, I'm glad neither of those can Dynamax. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, but like we said, Scorching Sand is a big upgrade for Heatran. Oh, over, very, over, very, over very Earth huge. Power. It's so important. Like, just just being able to have that uh, boost in... It, it's a, a boost in base damage, right? Um, or is it 80 versus 85? 70 versus 80? I believe. I was not going to tell you because it's an yeah. illegal move. I can figure that out. Give me one second. I have it on something else. Incin? Yep, somewhere. Uh, it's 70, but has a 30% chance to burn. As opposed to Earth Power is 80, 80. I believe. Earth Power is 80, yep. So. It, it is a slight decrease in damage, but at the same time, having that increased chance to burn... Like, 30% to burn is still pretty decent. Plus, like, this is a Dynamax target, and that that, that really does mean a lot. Yep. And, like, I, I think that really does dictate what's going to be playable. For sure. Like, that's, that's how it's been the entire time this game has been out, yep. is what can actually benefit from this Dynamax. So... Being able to Dynamax your Heatran, double your HP, take a Surf, take a take a Bulldoze, take an Earthquake. Whatever. Yeah, just from literally whatever, and just turn around and smack them as hard as you can. It's huge. You set up Sun with your Heat Wave, so then your attacks are doing more. You get Scorching Sands, which is going to boost your defense, so then you can take more. Yeah, hits. you can boost both your defenses. Yeah, yes. because you have Flash Cannon, too, which is also Stab. So, like... Heatran is going to be great. Yeah, and Heatran I, is going to be real cool. No one has talked about Heatran, and I don't know why. Um, I think it's mainly because they're worried about, like, ground types, just because Max Quake is such a good move that they're just, just going to take it out all the time. But Heatran's bulk. Heatran's decently bulky enough to where I don't think a single Max Quake is going to take you out, and then you can turn around after you're boosted and just quake them, quake them yourselves or hit them with a Flash Cannon or a Heat Wave. Honestly, I could see this being better than Colossal. It could be. Like... The fact that you can also hit Colossal super effectively is huge. Oh, yeah. I, like, I can't I imagine... I honestly think the, it's, Colossal is like is never going to be seen again after Series 7 starts because there's just so many legendaries. That there's so, so many, many things that beat it up. There's just so many things that do so many better options now. Um, Speaking of things that beat up Colossal... And everything, by the, for that matter. Uh, Landorus. Landorus is uh, rearing its ugly head back into the format. You know, honestly... When I played in 2018, like, Landorus was obviously the best thing you could be doing. Uh, yeah. It was not particularly close. And as a result, because I was young and dumb, I decided I didn't want to play the best thing. So this is actually going to be the first time I get to play with Landorus, and I could not be more excited. Like, in all actuality, I am so excited for Landorus now. I know for quite a while, it was just like, man... You know, and, and, and I mean, this is something that you and I have both talked about on this show. It's just like, I don't want this thing to come back. Mm -hmm. But now that it's like two weeks away, I could not be more excited to actually get to do it, be with this. Um, I was looking around on home for a, a Landris to just pick up just so I, like, I have one on release for Series 7 so I can actually like play with it and test it. Uh, I have not been able to find one so far because everyone wants like impossible lawns, like a level 1 10 Thunderous. That's been a big one. Um, well, I'm going to get on and trade off a cup, Foo. Let's see if you can find one. Yeah. 
Um, I, I'm I not sure if it's going to get high horsepower. Uh, I'm not sure if it's getting that or not. I looked through the thing, but I couldn't find it. I'm not going to waste time looking for it because we're already running long, and we still have two more pages to get through. Two, four, six, who knows? Um, but the set you see on your screen is like hybrid. Like You can do Choice Scarf, you can do Life Orb. Um, if you do Life Orb, you get you can do Fly things, with ro- and you also get Rock Slide and U-Turn. Um which are all good, all good moves. Very good moves. Um, and like you said, it's either high horsepower or it's going to be. A... You know, Landorus has a as a gender. Yep. Always male. I, okay. Yep. I don't know why, but it's always male. Um, so it's like if you don't get high horsepower, then you're likely run earthquake, which then you probably pair that with something that's not going to get smacked by earthquake all the time. But the, the big thing is Landorus has a real high attack stat for Therian form and uh, Intimidate. Well, according to home, it doesn't even exist, so... No, that's surprised. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, 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 I haven't ever got to play with Landorus. I did not play any of Gen 5, so I never even knew it was a Pokemon until, like, after watching VGC. <laughs> like, why is this thing exist? Why is this a thing? But, uh, so uh, I'm kind of, like, I'm on the fence of whether this is going to be, like, busted or good, just good. I think the big thing is there is so much speed control in this format. Um, may it be Tailwind or Max Airstream or Thunder Wave. Granted, Landorus is going to be immune to Thunder Wave. Yeah. But the combination of Max Airstream and the importance of Tailwind, I think, is really going to make it where a lot of unviable Mons that couldn't deal with landers in the past are going to be able to because they're going to be able to outspeed it. Yeah. So if they're able to switch in, get a max airstream boost, then outspeed it and deal with it themselves, that's that's a huge buff. Uh, like buff. Yeah. The problem is, is landers can Dynamax. Oh yeah, landers so, just goes big in front of you, and then you're just like, oh, I outspeed you, but I didn't actually take you out, and now you're just going to smash me. And the <laughs> other thing is, is it can just boost its own speed. Yeah. So it's kind of busted. Yeah, still a bit. <laughs> I I really can't wait for I know this is going to sound dumb, but I can't wait to bring back out Choice Scarf Cloister <laughs> just to blow it up. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Skill link it. Blow it up. Uh moving on to the next slide here. Uh we have some cool just like niche mons uh zapdos being the big one uh i think zapdos uh zapdos i think we said tailwind is a level up or it's it's not a level up hopefully it gets it by level up eventually i believe tailwind isn't but roost is and i know heat wave was also heat waves a a tr in this game okay so we don't have to worry about that one yeah heat waves a tr in this game so it should still get heat wave and it should still get thunderbolt for sure uh roost like you said maybe level up and tailwind might be uh, but this set is pretty much the copy paste of the old Zapdos from whatever it was being played. Uh, I like we said earlier, we wish you got Lightning Rod, but Static's probably like the best you're gonna be able to do. I'm really confused because Swede just sent us a team of the week, and I have no idea what this does. Oh goodness, we'll 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 tackle we'll, that. We'll, at the end. we'll slap it on here at the end. Uh, Swede was complaining too much that we la- ignored his stuff last week because it was Series 5, but this is a Series 6 team, and I have no idea what any of it does. Is that a Chansey? This is a Riolu with a lagging tail that knows copycat and dig. Yeah, we're just doing a Chansey. <laughs> we're just minimizing and doing shenanigans. I... I don't... Yeah, we're just we're just doing shenanigans. There's a puffer up there. Yes, there is. So <laughs> let's let's get a little more on, on topic here. Uh, back to Zapdos. Like we said, Tailwind, we're not sure. Roost is a level up for sure. Uh, Heat Wave to Thunderbolt. Uh, this is like the best support you're probably going to be able to do. Like with Zapdos and it's notoriously just been like the best of the Catonian birds. Historically, yeah. Um, the big problem with Articuno is it's four times weak to Rock Slide. And the problem with Moltres is it's Moltres. Yeah, it's also four times week to Moltres. Yeah, but like it's also, it's also it's just also Moltres. Moltres. <laughs> it's also just Moltres. Um, uh, next up here we have Cartana, uh, a very, very, very scary be- uh, Ultra Beast. Again, this is one that I've never played with because I I deemed it too good. <laughs> uh, 
man, is it good. <laughs> it's absurd. Uh, I didn't realize how good it was until we started putting this list together today. 181 base attack with life orb, with your 252, it it's going to KO something with the Grassy Glide. Yeah, we, like, not only does it get Grassy Glide, but Smart Strike also means, like, it's whatever. It's its highest damaging steel-type move. At the moment. Um, that we know of. Sacred Sword means I don't care about your max steel spikes. Yep. And then, I'm not sure if it gets Tailwind. If it gets Tailwind... Tailwind was a level-up move. Okay, I'm so, 99% sure. So then, if it gets I'm still Tailwind, looking at Zapdos's. Let's see, if it's, if it's a level-up, then Tailwind on this thing is going to be cute. Uh, because it's actually decently fast, too. It just does not take a hit. Uh, so you would want to probably do redirect into max blow you up. Okay, so Zapdos, Heatwave, and Tailwind were both uh, move tutors. But Roost was a TM in Gen 7? Mm, I'm not sure how good the Zapdos is actually going to be then. Pending that we don't get more move tutors. Yeah, pending we don't get... I don't know if we're getting more move tutors. I don't think we are. I... So the, the reason that people are speculating on it is in the trailer there's a crowbat using Tailwind. Yeah. And, and the only way it has gotten it historically is move tutors. Yeah, that's the only way. So unless they're adding it into its moveset officially, or they're giving it as an egg move and they're showing off an egg move in the official trailer, which I don't believe they would do. That's weird. This, we'll find out. A lot of things need to align right to make this happen. Yeah. But I... I don't know. I'm uh, looking up Cartana for Tailwind now. Okay. Uh, so, like I said, Grassy Glide Stab, Spartan Strike Stab, Sacred Sword to boost your already insane attack just even higher. Uh, Life Orb means you're going to take out everything. And then if you get a KO, you get to Beast Boost your already insane attack to even higher standards. Uh, this thing is a Dynamax threat, and you need to be ready to just hit it with a Fire-type move. Also, has a beautiful Shiny. Oh, yeah, the Shiny is fantastic. Uh, also, Stack Attacka coming up here next is another Ultra Beast. Uh, also has a fantastic shiny. It is very gold and very pretty. Um, so this set for Stack Attacka is really cool because we get Body Press and Steel Roller from uh, being just being transferred in. Um, Steel Roller is there to help deal with the opposing terrain set by all the Tapus, which we're expecting to see uh, because Series Five was very terrain focused. Series Six, uh, Series Six was like you can't do that anymore because we banned. <laughs> most of them and the good ones and then you, you get tapu wee wee yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then uh so we're expecting the tapus to come in and just take over because they did so many terrain boosts like there's so many things the terrain does for you now um so steel roller is going to be a a very good move to have and then rock slide as stab coverage um just hits both of them um your beast boost will boost your defense almost every time because there is no way any of your other stats could ever out boost your defense. It's got a base two twelve. You you literally have to be like zero IV minus defense nature to have your special defense outdo it or something. To even have a chance at that, I think. But like yeah. even at that point, I don't think it's possible. I still think it's possible. It's two eleven. Yeah. Like it's two twelve. It's two twelve base, and it is insane. So your body press is going to smash people, literally. You also get Trick Room. You are also going to be the slowest thing on the game in the game, period. Uh, what, after minus nature, it's 13 is what we said it was? Yeah. Yeah. 16. 16. Your 16. base speed is 13. Yeah. Which puts you at 18 at 31 IVs minus nature. So turning it to zero IVs turns you to 13, uh, 18. 16. 16. One of those numbers 16. is... 16. 16 is... Absurdly super slow. slow. You're slower than most of the slowest Pokemon in the game right now. The only thing that's slower than you is, like, Shuckle and Munchlax. <laughs> and you're not seeing any of those anytime soon. <laughs> you feel like Munchlax would like a word with you, sir. I doubt it. So, be on the lookout. Stack Attack is going to be a Trick Room monster. Um, another Ultra Beast here. We have Ferramosa. This is a cool set because it's just, like, Ferramosa gets coaching and you're really, really fast. Uh, notably, you're faster than Dragapult. With Ferramosa? Problem is you can't one shot Dragapult unless yeah, there's you're Dynamax. No, unless, unless you unless you are either like Dynamax, Max, Worm Wind with Outrage. I think you can just hit it with Outrage though, and it might and it, the little one goes down. So that's kind of cute. Um, but having coaching, being having a fast coaching, just be able to boost your other Pokemon is cool. 
also gets access to close combat now, so if it needs to hit something, it can. Uh, poison Jab to hit those fairy types that can cause a problem with for you, and uh, Skitter Smack to lower Mon's special attack. It's, this other this last move slot can be pretty much anything, I feel like. I like Skitter Smack because we have coaching, um, so you want to lower their special attacks, and then you get a quote-unquote special defense boost. Yeah. So, it's cute. I don't know if this is actually good, but I have a shiny and I want to use it. <laughs> uh, Thunderous here, uh, another one of the uh, Gen 5 genies. Uh, this one is the incarnate form. That's the way it gets pranksters, incarnate? Yes, because it turns into... Chicken. No, Which... that's, that's Tornadus. Tornadus is chicken. No. No. Yeah. No? They both are. I'm, I one turns remember. into a rooster, the other turns into a chicken. I don't know, man. Look them up. Find out what the Therian forms are. But a Thunderous getting Prankster here. Um, probably is just like, this is like a cool support. Uh, Thunder Wave Taunt, Swagger Strats for your own Tempo Mons to boost their attack even higher, like Mudsdale. Uh, and then Bolt Switch to get out if you get taunted. That way you don't get completely stuck like a Clefairy does when it gets taunted. That happens a lot. No, it's, uh, what's his name? Tornadoes that turns into a chicken. What does Thunder turn into then? It, ugly. How ugly? Pretty ugly. Let me see. I want to see this. I, I don't know what they are. What in the world is that? Is it ugly. Like, like a weird horse thing. Also, its theory and form ability is Volt Absorb. Cute. Also, its hidden ability is Defiant. Yeah, I knew that one. Defiant. There's probably a Defiant Thunderous built somewhere. But it just doesn't have bulk to... Our attack is 115! Yeah. Why? I think you had this reaction last time we talked about it, I'm too. pretty sure, <laughs> regardless, man. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm expecting Thunders to be like a cool support. It'd be a cool support one. Especially with Prankster. Um, last here on this on this slide is Tapu Lele with Life Orb. Uh, this is the glass cannon. Tapu Lele, just go big... Blow them up. Dazzling Gleam, Expanding Force. Uh, I don't know if we get Mystical Fire. I'm really hoping so. If we do, cool. If we don't, oh well. Like, the the big thing is they took away Hidden Power from the game, so that makes it where a lot of the special attackers lose a lot of their potential coverage. Yeah. Um, so adding in miscellaneous moves like Mystical Fire makes up for that loss of coverage in some ways. Otherwise, like, Tabu, Tabu Lele doesn't really do anything other than just like just smack them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the downside. Is like, it doesn't do anything by double KOing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's the downside. It's like you don't get any coverage, but you just click expanding force with your psychic or, yeah, just light orb and just blow people up. Just press the button. <laughs> yeah, and just hope that works. Um, I'm I'm not sure how good Tapu Lele is gonna be. I I feel like this is actually probably gonna be one of the lower end Tapus. Which is crazy because historically. Lele was one of the best ones. Uh, that's because we have other Psychic Surge users now in Needy who could follow me and things like that. Yeah, but that one doesn't smack them. It doesn't have to. Though. It smacks, Carl. But it doesn't have to. It also gets... In Didi gets Mystical Fire. It smacks. <laughs> um, compared to the other Tapus, though, I feel like it is definitely the weaker Tapu. Uh, I think it's better than Bulu still. Bulu gets close combat and Grassy Glide. Yeah, but, like, who cares? It's Bulu. Bulu's on par with Rillaboom in the same attack range. Eh, debatable. No, no. Like, base-wise, they're, the they're pretty much the same. Yeah, but one's Rillaboom. It's, it's the same thing. Rillaboom looks cooler, Carl. I don't know about that. This thing's shiny. It's awesome. Yeah, but how often are you finding their shinies? I've looked. They're impossible to find on home. That's why you grind for them. You can't. They're shiny. Oh, yeah, lock. they're shiny lock. <laughs> They were only an event exclusive, which sucks because their shinies are beautiful. All yeah, of them. I have shiny Coco, and I'm very happy to use it. I don't, and I'm upset. <laughs> uh, Tapu Bulu, uh, Life Orb, Grassy Glide, Play Rough, Rock Slide, Protect. Uh, really cool. Um, Tapu Coco, uh, this is a Figgy Berry. Probably could just be a Life Orb set as well if you wanted to be. Um, notably, we are max attack for, Bla for Brave Bird and Play Rough damage, and then Rising Voltage just gets the benefit of just being like... We're on electric terrain, so just it's 140 40 special. Yeah, like, up. even at adamant, it's still gonna smack them. 
uh, and then protect. Uh, the last Tapu set here is Tapu Fini. Uh, I have a Assault Vest set here because it's just bulky as hell. <laughs> uh, we get Flip Turn to get out when we want to. Uh, muddy Water, uh, just to like, spread some extra drops and be kind of like supporty. Icy Wind to lower the speed and Dazzling Gleam for stab. Yeah, sure. I like I like this. This is like cool. Like here's this Tapu Fini. It can go big if it wants to, but it, a lot of the times it can just sit there in front of Mons, tank the damage, throw out some Icy Winds or Muddy Waters, or just spread out some damage and then flip turn out if it's in a bad matchup. Um, going back up at the top here, we have some of the other Mons that were just like, I, I'm excited for uh, for Metagross specifically. I wanted to get my six IV shiny out so bad. Uh, clear body, uh, notably this is going to be probably a pair with a bulldoze user, so you can just like prop your weakness policy and don't drop your speed, drop everybody else's speed, so then you're faster than everything else, maybe. Uh, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, both stab moves. Uh, Meteor Mash has a chance to boost your attack, which is notable. Uh, this one, uh, then you get to, like, I don't know if we're getting high horsepower, uh, but if you don't get high horsepower, then you can just win Earthquake, so you have a max quake move to hit those fire types and be able to boost your special defense. And then we're just running Protect just to round up the rest of the uh, set here. Um, notably, most of the, I believe the pairing was uh, Salamence and Metagross. Like, Salamence is a fast Bulldoze user. Yeah, um, that's that's the, the go-to right now. And then I, I, I'm running Special because it's like Draco, Meteor, Hurricane, Heat Wave. I, I think that's one thing that Salamence is going to be better than... Um, than, like, Dragonite that we talked about earlier then, is Salamence's special side is probably a little more defined. Yeah. Um, whereas I feel... I kind of really wish we got Aerial 8 from Salamence still. Like, I, I wish we had its mega ability. Yeah. Because Hyper Voice just makes... It, it's so good. Oh, yeah. It like And that's what that's what makes um, Sylveon good, is, like, Hyper Voice. Yep. So, I I really wish, like, for it and, like, Pinsir, I wish they both had Aerial 8. But, unfortunately, Mega abilities are locked yep. behind the Megas. Which, there's so many cool ones. Oh, yeah, there's so many cool Megas, and then there's just, like, a bunch of garbage Megas. And there's I'm... some that are historically insane that I think are garbage, and I wish they didn't exist. Oh, yeah. Um, like 99% of them. Last mod on here is what I didn't think about uh, when we were talking about inner focus. Uh, physical Entei gets really, really good. Yeah, agreed. Because inner focus. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, inner focus means this Pokemon can't be intimidated anymore. Plus, you can't punch it. Like, you get Stomping Tantrum, Extreme Speed, Sacred Fire to 50% coin flip burn people. Uh, you also get Detect, so you can't be in prison locked. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Make sure you're using Detect over Protect if you can. Um, there, sweet. We mentioned it. Are you happy now? It's because <laughs> of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, Entei just Entei feel. I feel like it's going to be like one of the probably the better like fire types going into this new format for series seven. Like along with Heatran and um, I forgot the other fire type I was thinking of, but um, Ent Entei specifically is just like Sacred Fire plus Extreme Speed plus Stomping Tantrum. It's just like you have decent max coverage if you want to. You can boost your special defense if you need to. Uh, Extreme Speed lets you pick up KOs on Focus Sash Mons without being like the worry of just like getting cracked back on. Uh, Sacred Fire, like we said, 50% chance to burn. I think it's 100 base damage. It was a 90. Hmm. Um, I could not tell you. I couldn't tell you either. But uh, being, being inner focus means a lot. It really does. Like, granted, uh, I believe it gives access to Flare Blitz. Yeah, which... But Sacred Fire is so busted, man. Coin flips on burns. It's insane. Yeah. Like, the, Sacred Fire is the reason to play Entei and Ho-Oh. Oh, yeah. But the problem is, is neither of them are particularly great. But Sacred Fire. <laughs> well, now Entei's actually decent. You don't have to worry about getting intimidated out of the game. The, yeah, that's, that's the big thing, is like having access to... Hidden ability and tape means like the the boost to uh, to inner focus is really subtle, but it's huge. Oh yeah, a lot of these mods that just had inner focus is like you can't punch me. Oh now I can't be intimidated. Like 
guess you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's that's another one. Like talking on that same page is Scrappy. Yep. You're immune to intimidate. Why? Smack you. You know. Speaking uh, speaking of Scrappy, have you seen this Kangaskhan set running around? No, I haven't. So it's Silk Scarf, Scrappy, uh -huh. Fake Out, Last Resort, Last Resort, just Clap smack him. him, get him with the Fake Out, and then get him with the Last Resort. That's I uh, I ran into it on laddering, just like I bet this is what it's doing, and then you know it goes Fake Out into Last Resort. I'm like, I knew it. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I'm looking at memes. I do enjoy a good meme. I'm looking at memes. I'm looking at memes. Come on. Come on, load Reddit. Uh, I'm going to go to Discord here. Ah, yes. 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 All the ice types. Yes. <laughs> I legitimately don't hate this. The problem is you have three choice scarves. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. It's just like, here's... Is Refrigerate... It's Pixelate, but for ice. ice. Yes. Okay. That's absurd. That's the one thing why I'm excited for Aurora's, and it sucks that it's just like, I lose to every steel type in the game. <laughs> so I started replaying uh, Y yesterday, today, I, I can't remember. Um, and Aurora's was originally on my team. Like my, I, I, For whatever reason, anytime I replay old Pokemon games now, I always go in with, I know what I'm playing, I know what mods I want, mm -hmm. this is what I'm doing going in. Uh-huh. And Aurora's was originally on it, and then I started looking, I'm like, I have, like, three ground weaknesses and, like, three weak to steal. I'm just like, this actually can't afford to be here. <laughs> um, Is I'm, this where we talk about Swedes I'm looking at this, trying to figure out what's going on. I see, I know what this is. I, I don't. So, we're copycatting Minimize. Are we? Yes. Or are we copycatting Dig? Because what you can do is you can click dig, and then next turn copycat to get priority dig. You can do that too, but uh, notably copycat also gets minimized. Uh huh. And you just you raise your evasion to where they can't touch you. Uh huh. Which again is the same thing as Chansey does. Uh huh. Uh, unfortunately, I, I like seismic toss on my Chanseys. But Carl, how do you expect to die if you can't die? <laughs> How do you expect to win if you can't die? That's my win condition. This. I don't like I just don't like this. I don't really like the stealth rocks either, if you want me to be honest. Um That's cute. Fissure Copper Raja. That Copper Raja is cute. Like, what is this set? Uh Whirlwind Attract Fissure Screech. I'm so confused. I'm surprised it's Whirlwind. Let's get Whirlwind. Evidently, man. Uh, Hypnosis, Whirlwind, Gravity, Psycho Shift on Sigilyph. Uh, so our plan is just to set up Stealth Rocks and Whirlwind them out Yeah, we just, we, we just slowly beat them down. This is this is the slow beat down. Do we, we don't have a single damaging move on this team, do we? We have Dig, is that it? Uh, dig. And one hit KO moves. And one hit KO moves and Spikes and Stealth Rock. Oh my lord. What? He says he has a match, he has... I am so confused. Who put him up? Who put him up to this? Uh, switch sides here. Let's see what this does. Well, I think we're going to be here for a while. Uh, Dynamax Blastoise. This is, this is not the same team. Yeah. He What's said there? he had proof. And Come on, Swede. You lied to me. Uh, is it in Team of the Week? Where's the proof that this team won? You said you had proof. Go to Team of the Week. Scroll down, up, somewhere. Stream chat. How immediately making me... What? Yeah. You just do what you said. You just copy cat to copy okay. dig, and you just get the okay. priority, and you can't be touched until unless somebody. Else there we go. It. There we go. There it is. Okay, so here's the proof. We're gonna go hyper fast. Toxic orb. Yeah. 
that's hilarious. Copycat, use dig, max hydro snipe. Miss. I am so confused. <laughs> I, I... I... I'm confused. This team that has no damaging moves won on turn two. Uh, three, failed. I'm sorry. Turn three. I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to... What does Psycho Shift do? Uh, Is it pass your status onto them? It does. That's adorable. It hands off your status. That's adorable. So, we're also gravity to just like increase on a, our on hypnosis. A bunch of move on a bunch of mons, just to like hit increase our accuracy for these guys. That's not how that works, though, right? Uh, I thought the one hit KO moves ignored accuracy increasing. Uh, I don't think they do. To showdown. I was gonna go Serbia. That also works. <laughs> Find Fisher. F. That's F A. Yeah, there's Fisher. Affected by gravity. May cause one hit KO. Affected by gravity. No. So it's not affected by gravity. So gravity doesn't do anything for it. Cool. Copyable by mirror move. That's adorable. Is mirror move being into the game? No. It I got removed. That's what I thought. Does that mean it's copied by copycat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. I still am surprised it gets world. The Kaparashi gets world. <laughs> That's where I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> Why do we have Screech on this thing? Uh, lowers defense so our digs do more damage. Ah, uh, yes. How could I be so ignorant? <laughs> Um, I'm so confused. Eh. It's I, cute. There you go, Swede. You can't say we didn't do nothing for you. I don't want to talk about Swede's teams anymore. <laughs> make your head hurt? They make my head hurt. Oh. Anything else we got going on? I don't know, man. Uh, we got the Rumble covered. We got all of our Pokemon covered. We got our actual team that we covered at the very beginning of the episode. Make sure you check out Litter Root Laddering on YouTube if you haven't yet. Right now, you're doing a real cool weakness policy Hattering team. Dude, the team's a blast. Well, would have been. You finished it up by now. As yeah, by, by the time this comes out, uh, those videos will all be up. The last one comes out on Saturday. We have the Let's Play up on Sunday. Uh, once Mono Type gets started, we'll do having matches on Wednesday and Friday posted. Cool. So, that so that'll be, be cool. a couple weeks because we actually start playing this upcoming week. Yep. Uh, I am playing CLJ. Against I'm playing Electric. electric. You're playing this Electric and your Dark. Yeah. More Pico gets to be shared by everybody. Yay, more Pico. <laughs> I That'll probably be one I don't bring all season. Uh, so my current goal is to shiny hunt every dark type to have them accessible to me. Uh -huh. And it which sucks because I can't have Urshifu. Why do they shiny lock the legendaries, man? So they can give them out later as a promotional event. Lame. Don't talk to me. Talk to I'm Pokemon. talking to you. You're, you're the only person in the room. How am I not supposed to talk to you? You're talking <laughs> to a million other people. Everyone who listens, you're talking to them. Yeah, but they're... I can't hear them respond. <laughs> so, so that's why they leave comments. When when I listen to podcasts, I comment back and forth, and Tiff thinks I'm crazy because I talk to myself, and so as a result, she doesn't watch them with me anymore. <laughs> I mean, I understand that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm playing against Ground. I have the hard matchup in my league. I yeah, you early. you got the rough one this week. Ah, uh, no, nah, it'll be fine. I got. I got three po three immunities to ground. I got two like neutral to ground. Um, yeah, you only have one actual weakness, right? Because you have air balloon, and then flying, <laughs> flying and levitate. Yeah, <laughs> it's like all right, cool, cool. You're fine. I'm like I don't got to worry about stab ground type attacks. Now you just got to hit with fire type attacks. It's like that's the only way you're gonna take. Me you, out. Have to, you have to watch out for Excadrill, which is like the only thing. like mold breaker Excadrill only hits the levitate like air balloon. We'll get through the item air balloon. I uh, Moldbreaker doesn't no, no, no. You're right. You're right. Moldbreaker only ignores abilities and 
it's yeah, yeah it's, you're right. I don't look up. Um, so it's like like levitate's the only one I gotta worry about. Which is whatever. Uh, notably, uh, a scavalier gets razor shell. <laughs> It's like, all right, go away. <laughs> Let's just start cutting them Is down. Is that your only super effective hit on them? For the most part. Okay. If, if they're, if they're, I also have grass knots on a couple Pokemon. Okay. Just remember, you can't, uh, can't use that on their Dynamax. Yeah. Because uh, that doesn't work. Yep. Uh, I wonder does grass knot turn into max overgrowth when it goes big? Should. Cool. So I, I have, I have outs. Cool. You have out because you can not only uh set up. Grassy terrain, which then reduces their damage on their potential ground moves. Like on Earthquake and Bulldoze. Because they're going to be using a ton of those on me. Cause, I have a feeling, yeah. Like, or you're going to get memed on and just have no idea what's going on. No camera is very big for me. <laughs> I was very excited to see that. And I'm not sure how many Fire-type moves the Ground-type Pokemon get. Like, there's like Fire Fang or Fire Punch, and that's probably about it, honestly. I was getting ready to say Scorching Sands, I remember that's ground. Yep. Um. Hmm. Like, I think of how to might get Fire Fang. I believe you're correct. That'd be, like, the only one I'm worried about, really. Um. But Monotype Team's, like, it's cool. I have to work on it still. I have no, like, no calcs done, but it's, like, it's Ferrothorn, Coronite, Mawile, um, because most ground types are physical. Uh, Escavalier, because I don't have, it's neutral, um. It's a neutral hit instead of a super effective hit. Uh, and then I have Bronzong to uh, go Trick Room mode if I have to, uh, because especially because Ferrothorn and Escavalier are both slower than almost all the other ground mods. And then I believe the last Pokemon I have is... Um, what's the last Pokemon? Um, you know. Somewhere on here. I probably have it. I know where it's at. It's on my phone. It's on my phone, too. You sent it to me. But that was like two weeks ago, it feels like. Yeah, probably. There it is. Oh, it's uh, Sand Slash. Oh, Sand Slash. Ah, yes. Because Ice. Because <laughs> Triple Axle. That move's busted. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's my busted. that's my six that I'm bringing this week. Air balloons on Mawile to give it because it's the only one that's actually like I'm worried about just going down in one hit. Uh, notably, we have Rain Dance to boost our Max Geyser off of a Scavalier if we need it. Okay. Um, also reduces all their Fire type attacks if they have them. Um, taunt and protect on this Mawile just to like be annoying. Player up is like the only attacking move it needs. Because I have steel coverage everywhere else. It's just like, I want the fairy just... Yep, agreed. Blow something up. Uh, Scavaliers, Close Combat, Iron Head, Razor Shell, Knock Off. Sand Slash is Triple Axle, Iron Head, Shadow Claw to lower defenses when I go big. And uh, Protect. Uh, Corviknights, Brave Bird, Iron Head, Vocal Bruce, pretty standard Corviknight set. Uh, Ferrothorn is Seed Bomb, Iron Defense, Leech Seed Protect. Uh, I want Seed Bomb just to make sure I hit things. Uh, and then Bronzong is Psychic, Trick Room, Protect, and Grass Knot. They're going haywire on Discord about this team. Let them. If you want to join all the craziness, you can uh, go join the Discord. Our Discord is great. I love them. Dude, we've had so many people just, like, stream on Discord this week, and it's it's wonderful. I know uh, Angelo, who is Mr. Rhode Island, who is now... Who was AJP, who is now Ro... Yep. Uh, <laughs> just don't. I I don't know. Let him I change the name. Just fine. I don't care. I can keep track of uh, it. Mafia is now Maria. I I don't even know on that one. Someone mistyped one time and it's stuck. And, that, and now and it's, it's a meme. Yep. And now it's a meme, and that's what happens. Um. So yeah, Discord's great. Make sure you join the Discord. Uh, make sure you go check us out on YouTube. If, uh, you, if you are listening on YouTube, make sure you slam that subscribe button. We are twelve away from a hundred. Pound that like button and leave us a comment down below talking about how terrible our sets are. For oh yeah, they're awful. Seven. Oh I yeah, all these it. Pokemon, are, all, all the sets we designed are just like off our off the cuff, just like whatever. Well, that's the thing is we don't know what we're calking for yet. So yeah, it's just like 
I, everything, I think everything but tap with me. I just hit 252, like, attack, 252, or, or like, like here's whatever damaging type they are, and then, like, either HP, defense, or speed. <laughs> um, the Zapdos spreads I just stole from Picolytics. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's the old Zapdos from whatever, 20, whatever. Uh, 18, I think. Okay. I think Zapdos was more widely played in 18 than 19, mm-hmm. because 19 had three series, and blah, 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 and Megas, and it was, yeah. It's a nightmare. And primals, and restricted mons, and yeah. We're gonna be there soon. Don't worry. <sighs> um, what Hooray. else? Uh... Twitter. At LR Lessons, myself at Cardinable25, and Carl at Musical underscore 33. Carl and I are both on Twitch as well. You can always go like a li- uh, drop us a like there. If you really like us, you can always drop us a sub. Uh, at Mr. Missouri 25 and at Musical Discord, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. I think that's everything. Um, can't think of anything else. Wrap us up. All right, we're out of here. We're going to go cook some hot dogs and hamburgers. Yep. Have a good one. Peace.